I'm Jay and welcome to The Gist. Athlete, reality TV star and candidate for California governor, Caitlyn Jenner has spoken out against trans women competing in cis women's sports. What? Caitlyn came out as a trans woman in 2015, instantly making her one of the most famous trans women in the world. This isn't the first time of her speaking against the LGBT plus community. On The Ellen Show, she expressed she still has a judgment about gay marriage. Speaking on trans women to TMZ, she said, this is a question of fairness. This is why I oppose biological boys who are trans competing in girls sports in school. It just isn't fair and we have to protect girls sports in our schools. Caitlin's comments are not reflective of the trans community's thoughts on this, as most recognise the desire to exclude trans women from sports is another way to marginalise an already marginalised group. In the UK, government ministers have announced that the cost of changing your gender legally will go from £140 to £5. Liz Truss, Women and Equalities Minister, said the reduction of the price of gender change will remove a barrier for transgender people. These changes come into effect this month. In a survey, 34% of transgender people said that the cost of a certificate prevented them from wanting to transition. Although this is a step in the right direction, various LGBT plus advocacy groups have advised the process of transitioning in this country is still difficult. Lee Clatworthy from National Transgender Charity Sparkle stated the process is overly long-winded and reducing the price won't compel more to apply. Nancy Kelly, Chief Executive of Stonewall, said reducing the cost and streamlining the application process were not substitutes for meaningful reform to the Gender Recognition Act. Trans people can still wait for up to two and a half years before having their first appointment with an NHS gender identity clinic. Ethan Evans from Cornwall, who lives in London, visited a psychologist after fighting and suppressing his feelings since the age of 10. He was waiting nearly two years to have his referral. Speaking on this, he said, you've gone through the whole process of deciding that this is what you are. You are transgender. And then you have to wait a year and a half to two years for someone else to go, yeah, that's right. It has taken a toll psychologically on me. The wait is so long and it's literally a life or death thing. Hopefully more strides will be taken to make the process of transitioning easier for trans people. Norman Kinzillis, a 29 year old medical assistant from Latvia, was murdered in a homophobic arson attack by his neighbor. According to reports, Normans had got into an argument with their neighbor and in response, the neighbor covered him in fuel and then set him alive. The European Pride Organizers Association took to Twitter saying he is a victim of a homophobic arson attack. Another gay man suffered burns while trying to save the life of Normans. The second victim spoke to Tukum's Independent News, a local newspaper, how they had both reported the neighbor to the police and how their neighbor threatened the building they lived in. We reported these threats to both the police and the neighbor's workplace, but there was no reaction, he said. The president, Eglis Levitz, shared his support via Twitter. There is no place for hate in Latvia. We send our condolences to Norman's friends and family at this time. Human Rights Watch have been looking into the rise of persecution of LGBT plus people in Cameroon. The Cameroonian police force has arrested, threatened and assaulted 24 LGBT people since February. The rights group have been documenting various accounts of abuse, including one from a 17 year old boy. Human Rights Watch did share their findings with Cameroon's Justice Defence Ministries and the Head of Police with no response from any of these organisations. Nina Gazal, an Associate LGBT Rights Director at Human Rights Watch, stated 
these recent arrests and abuse raise serious concerns about a new upsurge in anti-LGBT persecution in Cameroon. According to the Human Dignity Trust in Cameroon, Article 347-1 prohibits sexual relations with a person of the same sex with a penalty of between six months to five years imprisonment, as well as a fine. The law is framed in gender neutral terms and therefore applies to sexual relations between men and between women. We send our love and solidarity to all LGBT plus folks in Cameroon. I'm Jay and that's the gist. Thank you for watching.